Hi, I'm Julie from Prairie Point Junction Quilt Shop in Cozad, Nebraska. Today we're going to show you our row by row experience pattern and tell you a little bit about some of the notions that we've used to make our project even easier. This year's theme for row by row experience is taste the experience. So I'm a collector of cherries and all things red, so I thought it'd be a perfect way to incorporate a little vintage cherry into our project. Our cute little cherries are actually fabric yo-yos an old traditional quilting technique um, with a little modern spin to it using Clover's Quick Yo-Yo Makers. They allow you to make perfect size yo-yos every time very quickly and easily. To begin, you'll use a square of fabric. There are four different sizes of the yo-yo maker, so the size of your square will just depend on your finished size of the yo-yo. Your yo-yo maker, it's two separate parts, a circle and another circle with teeth. And there are little bumps here on the circle, three of those, and there are three little lines on your disc. And those you're going to use to line up the shape so that your teeth are in the right position for when you're going to sew. Then you're going to take your square of your fabric for your yo-yo, lay that face down on the part that I call the wheel, align the little disc that has the teeth, and you'll pop that into place. Now we're going to trim the excess fabric off our edges, leaving just the slightest bit of fabric extend beyond the edge of that wheel, and that's what's going to form our seam allowance. So I'm going to trim that off by hand using my Karen K. Buckley serrated edge scissors to give a real smooth, easy cut. So I'm trimming that off, just leaving a little bit extending beyond the edge of my wheel. Now I'm going to stitch around that circle, coming in and out of these little grooves around the wheel. And as I stitch, I'm going to use my finger to hold down the edge of the fabric, and that's what will finish the edge of your yo-yo for you. So I'm going to work my way counterclockwise around this circle, stitching in and out of those little grooves. And it isn't amazing how we come up with all kinds of new tools to do things that our quilting ancestors have been doing the hard way all of these years. I love taking yo-yos along. They're a great car trip project. Um, it allows you to sit and stitch and pass the time. Maybe during the summer you're sitting out on the patio. This is a great way to, to make something usable as you sit and stitch for a different type of project. So we're almost back around to where we started and I just continue to go up and down through those holes. My finger on the underneath side is just easing that excess fabric flat and that's catching it in place as I stitch. When we come back around to where I've started, I'm actually going to do another stitch in that first hole where I stitched. And that's going to overlap my threads and help me pull those gathering stitches up. So I'm leaving my needle threaded and I'm going to use my thumbs and I'm going to pop the middle of that circle and I'm going to push that disc right back out of the yo-yo. I'm going to turn it over and gently ease my fabric off of there. And then I'm going to very carefully pull up my thread and as I pull it, I'm just gently easing it flat and all my gathers are going to pull that up and make a darling little yo-yo. And you can just kind of work that a little bit. And then you can take a couple little stitches and tie a knot. I'll take a couple, I'll just a little stitch catching one of those gathers. Pull my needle through my loop. And then since I'm stitching these yo-yos down, I'm actually just taking a stitch through my yo-yo to the back side. And then I will clip off my thread. And I have perfect little yo-yos that I can just place on my background and hand tack around the edges. And so you just keep stitching and repeating until you have darling yo-yos. So thanks for joining us today. 
again, I'm Julie from Prairie Point Junction Quilt Shop in Cozad, Nebraska, and you can find any of the tools that I've mentioned today on our website at prairiepointjunction.com, or be sure to stop and visit us in downtown Cozad, and you can stop in through Labor Day weekend and get a free pattern for our row-by-row -row experience pattern. Thanks so much for joining us today.